so on to the actual part that you came here to see how much did I actually make as a freelance social media manager last month in September 2021. Hey everyone, my name is Sylvia and I'm a social media manager and online educator from Portugal. In today's video, I'm going to be doing actually a request that I got over on my Instagram. Go follow me there. I know this is also a very popular video, so I wanted to take a chance to do it. You saw from the title, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how much I make in a month as a freelance social media manager. So if that's something that interests you, just keep on watching. But before we get into that, I wanted to add in a little bit of a disclaimer in here to say that success is relative you don't need to make a certain amount of money each month to be called successful or to be deemed successful by you or others that's just ridiculous in my in my opinion me for example i live in portugal um, and minimum wage here is 600 something i'll put it up in the screen but minimum wage is ridiculous so what i make allows me to live a more than comfortable lifestyle but for people, for example, in the US, that may be very little and they need to make maybe double what I make. So it totally depends on one, where you live, your financial situation, your goals and your lifestyle that you're trying to lead because I mean, some people are happy with less and I'm, I'm probably one of those people. I don't spend a lot of money. So it totally depends on you and I don't want any of you to be discouraged when you see people online making 10K, 20K, 30K a month, or even 100K a year or 200K a year, because that may not be you. And if that's not you, you shouldn't be striving for that goal and you shouldn't be feeling discouraged if you're not hitting that goal. That being said, if that's your goal, props to you. Make sure you do work very hard because I don't think that's a kind of thing that happens overnight. That's like an overnight success. Uh, if it is, if you have found that overnight success, let me know that in the comments. So on to the actual part that you came here to see how much did I actually make as a freelance social media manager last month in September 2021. So I have three main sources of income. The first one being Upwork recurring contracts. So clients that come back every month that are on a recurring basis through Upwork. The second one being the standalone project. So things from the project catalog or one-off clients in general, mostly through Upwork once again. And then I have Skillshare, my classes on Skillshare. I also have then other smaller pieces of income such as like one-off consulting calls or um, course sales or even some beta testing of some programs but that's that's not always there and sometimes it's pretty small so I figure I shouldn't count those in. So when it comes to upper recurring contracts last month I made about $4,000 now, sometimes this is 3,000 something, sometimes it's 4,000 something. It usually is around that range. For standalone projects, so stuff from the project catalog or one-off clients in general, I made about $1,000. Now, again, sometimes this is actually zero because sometimes I don't have availability to take on extra projects. Uh, but like I said, in my upper project catalog video, I'll link that down below. This is actually, in my opinion, a great um, extra source of income for when you have extra time in your hands from those recurring clients to kind of top that off on your income. And lastly, on Skillshare last month, I made about $300, which is now kind of the uh, norm for me, if you will. I started um, about 70 something dollars and then it evolved to 100, 200 and it keeps going up. It doesn't increase exponentially each month, but I'm super happy with the results because last month I don't think I even uploaded any classes and I still made more than the previous month. Let me know down below if you'd like me to make a video on how Skillshare works. I'm happy to do that. But yeah, I guess that's like in a nutshell that um, is how much I make in a month. Usually, obviously, as a freelancer and as a service provider, 
and as someone who relies on Skillshare and standalone projects, this will vary a lot from month to month. But hopefully this gives you an idea of how much is possible to make as a social media manager, depending on your goals, depending on how many hours you have to invest in social media management, depending on where you're located, on your skill level and everything like that, you'll be able to charge higher or lower. Uh, and I'm actually planning on making another video, thumbs this up if you'd like to see it, on like the money mistakes I've made in my business because there's definitely a lot of them. One of them being I started at $5 an hour and I stayed there for uh, an extensive amount of time. So I definitely don't recommend you start that low. I recommend you start at a more fair rate, but obviously don't start at your final rate. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to see that, like I said, leave me a like down below and comment down below if you have any other content ideas for me. I'm happy to take any requests such as this one. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So I'll talk to you guys next week. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.